Hello everyone. So I'm going to redo this channeling because I did it previously without sound. <laughs> and I channeled the Arcturians and just opened myself up to what they had to say um, at this time. Just whatever was needed and didn't have sound. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Maybe it was just for myself. Um, one thing that they did say that just really, really was powerful was that to find our truth, to find our truth, our individual truth, it must resonate and must be aligned with the intellectual, the emotional, and the spiritual heart. Okay? So it must be aligned with all of that. So it must make sense. It must feel correct, okay? It must feel right for us. And on a spiritual, um, heart-centered way, it must also make sense. All three of those is what they said. So they all must be in agreement for us to know our truth. Our personal truth because everybody has their own personal truth so anything else that they said was very very powerful um, they were talking about the collective and about how we should create our own collective and we should step away from the 3d into the five days and and what we are agreeing with so what we don't agree with in the world here we must go internally and agree with something different into the the new earth okay um so i'm trying to bring them in they're just better i just feel like they're better at explaining things than me <laughs> maybe it's just because of the the energies too um, that comes through. Um, but I'm going to bring them forth. So I'll just have them say whatever is needed at this time. calling in for my equipment to be protected if there's any interference that prevented that audio. We are the Arcturians. Today is a special day. We're going to bring about a communication now that will be different. You know us as the one who gives information, who says certain things, who 
takes time for you and does what you need. But we want to challenge you at this time to not see us, but to see you. What is it that you want? Maybe it's multiple things. Let us take time to see these things now. We will ask that you look at different levels of your reality. Let's see what you want in regards to your health. Take time at this time to see what you would like happen to you in regards to your health. Witness this as if you are experience it, experiencing it in this timeline. Yes, you are ready now. So you have experienced what you feel on an emotional state in regards to your perfect freedom of health. When you do this, you are stepping away from your 3D reality, stepping into the unknown stepping into something different. Now let me ask you to bring in your vision of your reality for your home. Look at your home and envision your home as it is. How would you like to change your home? Now ask yourself, what is it that you want to change? Let's say that you do not want a home here on earth. What if you would like a home that is not here on earth? This is what we want you to ask. You are ready now to step outside this 3D reality. Step outside your 3D reality and ask yourself what you would like in this 5D reality. What kind of home would you like to live in? Ask yourself this now.
Yes. We enjoy doing this with you. It is much fun. Now let's see what you enjoy, what you would like to create for yourself in regards to your relationships. Ask yourself what kind of relationship you'd like to see. And do not hold yourself back for anything is possible. Many people ask themselves what they want, but they only see it from their reality and not from what can be from a different reality. See yourself now, not holding yourself back with the best, best version that you can imagine, even if it does not agree with what is possible at this time. See yourself as you, not what you should be, not what you can be, but what you will be. See this now. Very good. This is more fun when you do not hold yourself back as many do. This law of attraction that you see, this law of attraction that you say is, is the best route is not as fun unless you do not hold yourself back. See yourself beyond this that you call the 3D reality and step into all that you can be. Let's now ask yourself what kind of job you would like to do. Any job is possible. Any job at all. <laughs> Even those that you say are not jobs can be a job. Let's see what happens. Ask yourself what you would like to do for employment. And money is no, no obstacle here. Money does not matter at this time. Money is not defined by your employment. Many get into jobs asking themselves what they need to do for that amount of money. Well, I need to pay my bills. So I'm going to take a factory job. Let's step outside this now. Ask yourself what kind of work you would like to do to serve, to serve others, to serve yourself. What kind of work would you like to do? Ask yourself and let's plan this now. There are no limitations, so if you see multiple jobs, that is very fine. Do it now. Go with it.
You may be surprised, just allow whatever comes, come. Yes. Now let's take time to just enjoy yourself and to align with whatever else comes to you. What other things would you like to see? What other things would you like to see happen? Can be anything, any way. Just ask yourself, what would you like to see in your life? <laughs> I like this one. She is asking for no time. <laughs> yes, anything is possible now. Anything. When she says no time, she just wants to clarify that there are no time restraints. No time restraints. Anything would be possible in the time that it is. Doesn't have to worry about looking at the clock. <laughs> she finds it funny that I laugh at her. And we are enjoying ourselves. She laughs back. That's what she enjoys. She's wondering if that's what the, the fifth dimension is like. You know, this, this feeling of upliftment when people are laughing and then you laugh back. Yes. Yes. She's also seen that as an empath, this is why she's been so disheartened. People do not laugh. People do not laugh this way. And it will be different, yes, in the fifth, fifth dimension. This will change. We want you to ask, you know, to see, uh, see yourself 
without any limitations, okay? So don't even limit yourself to the fifth dimension. If you need to step into the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, and above, just go with it, okay? Do not hold yourself back. So this is what we ask you to do now, for it is time for you to stop working within the 3D world. Especially the star seeds, light workers. There's not time for you to go and be within this 3D world. Your job is very special at this time. You must align with your heart. Go within, notice who and what you are, not what other people are, not what they're aligning with. You are these people, but they're not necessarily who you are, okay? You might be at a different level. You might be at a different understanding and a different love frequency. So do not align with these things. Do not bring yourself down and go within them. You must align with you and your heart. Work within your heart, your mind, your emotional state. And work on aligning these things, okay? So align your heart, your mind, your emotions. Let them align. Let them be as one. This is when you fall into the, your truth. Don't want to get out of balance. This is when you get confused. This is why meditation is so important. Center yourself. Balance yourself. The heart is where everything connects, okay? That's why we speak about the heart so much. Balance everything out. Treat it as your sacred, sacred union. Yes, peace be with you. <laughs> this is where you feel freedom. This is where you feel joy. Be with this. Keep bringing yourself back. It's okay to go off for a while, but you must bring yourself back. It's very, very important. We want to also let you know that this time is very special. We do not hold the answer for you of when it will happen, but the event is very, very near. Today is very important for what you do today will bring the event closer. This channel asks whether it could be further away for what you do today. It is very possible too. But we are very, we believe in the best possible outcome. So we stay closer. What you do today, you matters. This is very important for you. Bring yourself into harmony, balance, oneness. This channel asks about this shadow self that she was talking about in integration. This is important. But also know that there's another step. 
two step process. Integration, healing, witnessing the shadow, the fears that you have, but then stepping away and aligning with your heart center through peace, love, joy, freedom. That is what you want. That is what you need to focus on. So let it be a step process. Heal the fear. Bring light to the fear. Work with this. We must align with our darkness as well. But then turn your attention to the oneness, the love, the creation, the peace, the harmony, the joy. This is very important now. Break away from all constraints. Notice your highest, highest joys, your highest, highest views. And even if they do not align with what you can do now, notice what we will do later in the new earth. You create the new earth. Don't think you quite understand what the fifth dimension is. is. It's not even a physical reality. So people imagine it's flowers, trees, and buildings, okay? The thing about the fifth dimension is that it's not physical. There is not things that are just stagnant, okay, like in the 3D. The fifth dimension is more of a place where you create it, okay? It's an expression of who you are. Anything can be. It's not just that you go there and all the structures, you know, all the structures and rules and laws and things are, are you know, money systems are, are away. This is wonderful, okay, and that you create your own, your own reality there. You share a reality, but you create your own reality, okay? So if someone wants to live in a tree house and somebody wants to live in a van, that's okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. Don't hold yourself back by thinking only certain things are possible. Notice now. Just notice what you want. Notice who you are. See yourself. Witness who and what you are. Vibrating at the highest possible frequency that you can. Okay, if anything's holding you back, that's what we mean by fear. Fear's the things that are holding you back. Look at those, heal those, integrate those, and bring yourself back to the ultimate freedom you can be. Love yourself. And suddenly, this channel understands what love is and loving others. For you see those things at the highest frequency as well. <laughs> much joy, much love, much peace to you all. And we will be here in the future. I felt really, really good. <laughs> I really needed that. Okay, that helped a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. <sighs> Hope you have a great day.